In this segment, we're going to take a look at the color management option and the color toolbar, which is found here at the top of your workspace just under the standard toolbar. So it starts with the color management option, and then directly beside that, you have the colors that are available in your design. And you'll notice that there's a small arrow here, and that's because there's more colors available than what are shown currently. And so I could scroll along and I believe there's 40 colors currently available in this design that I could scroll through and choose. So um, basically the way it works, if you want to change the color of something, so for example, I'll just click and drag and select this bottom scroll in this design. And once it's selected, I could click on a new color in the um, on my color toolbar and it automatically changes those objects to the new color. So that's how that works. Um, but what I wanted to show is the color management option. So what if you want to customize the colors that you have available to work with? So when I choose this um, tool here, this window opens up and basically it has um, several things that you can see on the left hand side. It shows the colors that are available to have in your design. And this is a much larger uh, list of colors than there are actually available in the working design. Um, here you've got dozens and dozens of colors to choose from. And for that matter, you can choose, this is set right now on like the default colors, but you could, for example, choose any brand of embroidery thread. I, I guess I can't say any brand, but again, dozens and dozens of brands of embroidery thread that you could choose from. And then, for example, if I choose Madeira Classic, it will change all of the colors in my available color list to be Madeira Classic. And now, this is an even larger list, probably several hundred colors available in that Madeira Classic color palette. Now, on the right-hand side, we have the number of colors available. And we have the actual what those colors are. So there's currently 40 colors available in this design that I'm working on. And if I scroll down, I could see the, what, what those colors are. And it has little check marks for the ones that have been used. So for example, there was the six colors that were originally in my design. And then I just recently used, um, turned on this light green for some of that scroll work. And so that's why this one's been selected as well. Now you can change the colors that are in this list. So for example, um, I've got Madeira Classic selected over here, and if we wanted to right now, I could actually tell it to convert all, and it will convert all of the colors based on a, you know, a color matching system to Madeira Classic numbers. So that's, um, you know, if you just know that you have all the Madeira Classic thread, you can just quickly have your color um, open a design and have the colors of that design converted into thread that you use. Now. Um, Going back to the default colors, um, you have the ability to add your own colors, so create a new color based upon a color wheel, or you could edit the existing color, so if I didn't like the exact color that was there, I could open that color and make some kind of adjustment to it. And you can also delete the colors in your color palette. And you can also modify one color at a time. Now I'll have it convert all the colors back to the default colors. And then in this case, um, what I can do is I will convert, let's say for example, we want to take this um, silver, which if you remember originally this was green. By the way, if I want to go back, I didn't like the changes that I've made. I can just say cancel and nothing will be changed. And now if I open it up again, everything's gone back to the way it was before I started mucking with it. So um, that's another option that you have if you get in here and you're trying to make some modifications and you don't like what happens, you can just say cancel. If you say okay, your changes will be saved um, just for this design, not for all designs. So let's just take a look now at um, changing one particular color. So for example, if I was to say, maybe we didn't like this brilliant rose and I wanted to change that color, then what I could do is I could say, um, let's see, choose this pink and then just click and drag and bring it over and let go of it over top of that other pink 
and it just replaces it in the color palette. So you can go through and customize your color palette to have whatever, you know, green. If you decided you'd rather have this green, then you can just bring it over here, drop it on, and it makes that change. Now, if I say OK, then those changes will be reflected in my design. And so now I have the asparagus green as opposed to that lighter green and whatever. So that's how you can um, manage your colors and edit the colors in your design using the color management.